uh, that and I mean I've gotten a lot of wins um, already with Earth decks. Um, so I will go ahead okay. and host. I'm going to host Unlimited Unrated. Um, and what I'm actually going to do is something I've seen um, TCG Rewind do. And um, I kind of tested it with Roses because uh, what I found is that um, the single with sighting format tends to work better uh, in the cases of if we're not sure if there's going to be a game three or not. Um, so like if it's if it's like a 2-0 on somebody's end and then we do the optional game three, the singles with sighting tends to work better. Whereas like if you host a match... And then you do a game three, like mm. you just end up leaving the match incomplete, the second match that is. Um, I gotcha. This deck, I feel like, is gonna want this. Oh no! <laughs> Try this one. Uh, Ooh, okay. Hey, I uh, have a. I am. I'm making sure my volume is right for the next time I record. Him suddenly drops. That could be Discord's noise compression. Uh, okay. Yeah, Discord's been giving. So me... I'm gonna to my mouth. But if that causes some really. But it, there are lots of plosives and oh man, or anything like the spikes in volume when I make those sounds with my mouth. That means it's it's too close in front of it, so that happens. Okay. Okay. Um... Thank you. Well. Uh... My opening hand uh, was not really the best, so uh, it's just kind of the oh no set three and uh I have no idea what you're on, so you know could be anything. Uh, but mm. I'm seeing I'm Let's seeing the see. full extra deck. Uh, which is good. Um. Mm hmm. I set down this track. Ah, now what to. Well, I mean, do. you might say it's a trap, but I don't know that it's a trap. I'm just seeing the card back, so that could be a spell for all I know. That's the truth. <laughs> I uh, go to uh, do something and get hit with a That is moon. true. Or, an, or a um, enemy controller. Hmm. Now what to do? What to do? I am going to put this down and that will end my turn. All right. Um... I don't I don't really have a response to any of your plays thus far. Uh be fair, they're pretty basic plays, so <laughs> you know. 
yeah, I mean, my my turn was to you were just that much more conservative uh setting one less card. Yeah, huh? Um Dueling book hasn't registered on my end that your turn ended. Did you press the end turn button? Oh, did I not do that? Okay, there we go. There we go. All right. Uh, okay, now we get to have fun. So I drew a good card. Um... Cool. I, oh, good for you. I am going to special summon um uh volcanic queen to your side of the field by tributing your monster. Volcanic A, hey, thank you. So uh your monster will go to the grave. Thank you. I don't know uh See, but hold on. Let me uh, finish up with. So, what is? Okay, only be special summoned if you. Be special summoned. Send one other card you control to the GY to inflict a thousand damage to your opponent. Yeah. Um. So it's a it's a pretty um. This like, doesn't sound very bad for me. Uh, well, it does. It does get rid of your monster because failing to to this, I attributed your monster to summon it. So, um, no volcanic queen. Oh, uh, I is, see. Does is, does its flip effect activate? Uh, no, it does not because uh, it was not manually flipped. And okay. It was not flipped by a battle okay. or card effect. Whoops. Hold on a minute. Oh. Oh. Let me uh, pretend pretend like you didn't see didn't see what? There was there was a mystery card floating. Exactly. Now you're talking. There were two mystery cards floating uh, around. Hold on. There we go. I knew I could do it. All right. Well, this. So it it doesn't it does not trigger the flip <laughs> All effect. All right. So but it this does... goes to the GY. Oh, it was it was hamster. Okay. Uh, now. I will. Attempt. I to make activate... a hamster. Uh, remove brainwashing to control volcanic queen back to my side. Uh, of the field. No, you're not. Well, that does stop brainwashing because uh, that's it is a continuous trap. So, um, unfortunately, that Whoa. does stop my Let's effect. See. Uh, but Regeki Break, well, a very I'll versatile send this card. To the GY. Whoa, I have I have no idea what this deck oh, yeah. is doing. Um okay. In that case, I will activate Owner's Seal uh to take back my volcanic queen. Okay. So. so how do I give it back to you? Uh, you just, uh, when you hover over it, the top option should be move, and then you can select one one of my monster card zones, whichever one you want. Um, okay, there you go. Yep. All right. Now then, 
I'm going to flip some in my uh, UFO turtle once dueling book responds. There we go. Uh, I'll go to battle and I'll try for 14 and then 25. Hmm. Uh, such, such broken cards. And then in the end phase, Volcanic Queen burns me for a thousand. Is it my turn? Almost. Uh, Volcanic Queen okay. does have a couple of downsides. Um, one being that I cannot normal summon the turn that I summon it. Uh, Well then, I guess I will use to attack your UFO turtle. Oh. Okay, uh, that'll inflict 400. Yep. And then when that goes to the, the GY, also known as the graveyard in old school terms... Uh, it allows me to... There you get... go, yeah! <laughs> it allows me to ah. get uh, another one. Okay. And... Uh... All right. So what what else are you doing this turn? Oh. Okay. All right. I will well, there we go. All right. Stand by me. Um None of the stuff in my hand uh really does anything right now, so um, I will go to battle, try for 700, uh, and then 14 direct. Hmm. Now on second thought, I should have used right Gecky break on your... Er. Volcanic Queen instead. Whoopsie. Well, it was on your side of the field at that point. Um, and then the end phase. Uh, Let's see. Also, was... you didn't know what card I was going to be uh, activating well, next. Well, it, it just started on the field. It doesn't specify which side of it. Right, I mean, you can blow up your own stuff with it, but at that point, that you true. didn't know Hold I up. had... Hold up. Oh. There you go. Okay. Uh, you didn't know I had a second no. way. So, I mean, using Raigeki Break on yeah. brainwashing uh, probably was correct. Ooh, I like this play. I will summon my Trident Warrior uh, and activate his special effect to get my Exploder uh, Dragon no, on the no, field, no. too. No, no, no. I will negate Trident Warrior's effect with Fiendish Chain. Okay, fine. So, on it. So let's see. Can't attack. Oh. Okay, so you win. Well, that's game one. Uh, 
Okay. Well then, I will offer the uh, go to the game two then. Um, I've never seen this deck list before, so All right. I'm uh. All right. All right. Um. Let's see. Things went pretty well. Um. Hmm. I will. I'll I'll keep my deck as is. Um, I'll side stuff if need be for game three, but I think this did well enough. Cool. Uh, are you going to draw for turn? Yes. There we go. There we go. Now, what to do? What to do? I think I know ex <laughs> I I will set this and end my turn. All right. Well, then once dueling book. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, stand by main. Um, I liked your play a lot. Um, I will also set one, uh, but I will activate <laughs> Burden of the Mighty, and I will pass turn back. Okay, that play. I will normal summon my, and its effect will allow me to get, uh, hold on. Yes, I I think I will die on the field. Oh, man. You know, I played a dragon deck last week against Rose. Then play. Uh, neither of these are tuners. Hmm. So if you're if you're gonna make a synchro, you'd need a tuner, or if you're gonna fusion some summon something, you'd need like an appropriate spell. Because I I don't think there's any monsters that contact fuse these two. I'm not hold on. 
on, hold on. I'm just thinking of the absolute best way to mess you up. Oh, man. There's just so many choices, you know? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Well, hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think I finally decided. Um, I am going to synchro summon. My Goyo Gar. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Goyo Guardian is banned. Yes, I am going to synchro summon my and all um no 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 I wasn't gonna summon him. Um I am going to summon my Ally of Justice Cat oh, here we Catatastor. Go. Uh Yep. It's here. And I'm now I'm gonna destroy whatever the heck that is. Are you attacking yep. one with Cataster? I mer All right, yeah, it was uh, UFO you. turtle. Now, thankfully, Burden of the Mighty reduces yep. the damage that I take from Trident Warrior to fourteen hundred. That is fortunate. Yeah, it turns a heavy hit into a medium. And, let's see. And that ends my turn. All right. Draw for turn. Uh, stand by main. All right. I will set one. Uh, set a monster in defense so I don't just die and pass turn. Okay. Well, I'm not so certain about the not just dying part, but we'll see. <laughs> Okay, well, summon my Reese the Ice Mistress. Now I'm going to synchro summon my I. What? What? Hold on! Hold up! I Bryonic Dragon. Oh man. Yep, I think you know exactly what's coming, don't you? Yeah, he bounces stuff. Yep. All right. So how many? How many? No, I don't know what you've got in that deck of yours. I'm gonna discard send whatever the heck that is to your hand. And whatever the heck the f face down card is to your hand. Also, do I get to see them as they bounce back? Uh, so no, because um, upon declaration, after paying the cost, I get to um, negate the effect. Oh with the man. Mystery. Does that mean I get my cards back? No. 
the discard is a cost. If something is negated, it stops the effect, but not the cost. Um, but uh, Cataster can still oh, well. attack. I destroy whatever your face down is. Yeah, it was, uh... Well then, that is... Then's my turn. Alright. Oh, perfect. Stand by main. Uh... I count two monsters, which will allow me to sacrifice both to give you a lava golem. First be special from your hand to your opponent's field by tributing two monsters they control. Oh. Once per turn, take a thousand damage. That's in okay. the standby phase. Thank you. So now, uh, he still has 2,200 attack, even with Burden of the Mighty on the field. Um, but, uh, I will pass turn. And then you take a thousand, right? Uh, you take a thousand in the standby phase. So after you draw for turn. Wait. Must first be special summoned from your hand. Mm -hmm. From you. Yes. Uh, so your that hand first part. Once per turn during your standby phase. Yes. That refers to the card's Take controller. a thousand. Like they use so, the same. Now the first two sentences. And this is, this is confusing considering there's no like. Problem solving card text does not specify this. The first two apply to the card's owner when they have the card in their hand. Or if you use an effect like exchange, then it would be the card's possessor. Uh, the last sentence is its on field effect. Uh huh. Um, but. Sadly, I'm probably about to take a lot of damage. Probably. Because what I'm going to do next is... Let's see. I'm going to summon my giant rat, and okay. I'm going to attack with both of my mon All right, so that monsters is... for 32,000. Uh, 22 damage for, um, Lava Golem, the Giant Rat inflicts a thousand. And then a thousand. Yeah. Yep. And that ends my turn. All right. All right. Uh, stand by me. Also, isn't your fiendish chain destroyed? Uh, no, because the monster was tributed. Um, if the monster is destroyed, it leaves the field. Otherwise, it just lingers oh, and uh, does nothing once the monster is gone. I see. Uh, but I ended up breaking. Uh, so that is you have. Uh, I see. Game two. Oh yay! <laughs> well. Uh... We'll go to game three. And then I offer the, the rematch. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, cool. Okay. Well, that didn't exactly go as planned. I believe that some sighting is in order. Okay. And I will cite okay. three cards, and I believe that that's 
Mm. Let's see. Okay. I will side four cards. There we go. Okay. And I then I said gotcha. All right. All right, I will draw for a turn. Standby main. I will set one. Activate Burden of the Mighty. And I will pass. Okay. Well then, put this card face down. I set this card face down. I I set this card face down, and then I summon my gem knight, Garnet. Okay. And after that, I will attack with my gem knight, Garnet. I will take fifteen hundred. Oh, wow. Wow, no trap. I'm pleasantly surprised. Okay. Okay. Have a good, In the end have a good phase, turn. I will. Uh, roll a die. And then I will blind what? fire this, this MST to destroy the middle back row. Um, I actually activate my trap card to negate that. Uh, my that right is Yucky not a legal activation, uh, because it was set this turn. Why? You cannot activate a trap card the turn you set it. Um, I had set my oh. mystical space typhoon on my turn, so it was a... Um, I was able to activate that huh. on your turn. So, okay. Regeki Break will be destroyed. Oh, man. Oh, well. And then I will draw for turn. So, if I had a trap down, like, trap hole or something, I can't activate it on the same turn? Not on the same turn. You have to, like, turn? wait until oh, wait, your drawn. opponent's yes. turn. I see. Um, now, I am going to try to normal summon Flamvel Fire Dog. Is there any response oh, okay. to the summon? No. All right. Not I that will... I can think. Actually, wait, wait, hold on a minute. Hold on, oh, hold on. Back to me. There might be a resp response. Okay, there isn't one. Okay. Then I will go to my battle phase and I will attempt to run over your gem knight. There right. you go. This then activates a uh, fire dog's effect. Um which allows me to special summon from my deck Flamvel Magician. And really? then I will try and attack directly for 14. Okay. Good job. Good job. All right. Uh, main phase two. I will synchro for eight. And 
Hmm. I will... I will return with this Stardust Dragon. Ah. And end my turn. Ah, oh, too bad. So sad. Eight. My Exploder Dragon to destroy your card. All right. Um. So once it's once your exploder dragon is destroyed, um, by battle, when it triggers its effect, um, I can thankfully use Stardust Dragon to save itself, even in, uh, damage calc. Uh, so they, they will both go to the graveyard. However, unless there's wait, something. Wait, hold on. Something special. Unless uh, there's something to stop it in the end phase, my Stardust will return. But you do take no damage per monster's effect. Can I hold off on that? Yeah. I'll just summon Stardust back then. Is it too late? Well, I mean, you did because already did normal summon, it. but if you're going to wait to Destruction. attack, that's... But you know it's there. Okay. Instead, I will put this thing face down. Oh, okay. And that ends my turn. All right. Okay. Stand by main. I will start by sacrificing your monster to give you Volcanic Queen. Thank you. <laughs> so, that'll go to the graveyard. Or the GY. As the... Uh... Mm -hmm. Hey. There All you right. go. Okay. Uh, then oh. I will activate Owner Seal to get it back. Oh, no. And then, while I cannot normal summon, I can't activate a broken card in Rekindling. I currently have two that have 200. Mm. So, I will summon these two. And I died it. Uh, I do believe this is a lethal amount of attack points. Ah, if only he who hadn't just got lucky with that one. Oh, I did. I'm sh I'm sure I did. But I mean, hey, it was an organic game three. Uh, um, well. this is my first time. Uh, I believe this is the first time in this series that I've played a dedicated. Uh, fire deck. So what I will do. Um, now. The ca the cards. Am I able I to show you my cards? Are you able to see them? 
Oh, I see. Uh, Bill Ham. Yeah. Um, the cards that I cited out really didn't make a difference. Um, all right. Um, so this, this deck, um, the whole uh, four card package. I I had a torrential face down just in case you somehow outed everything. Um, that wasn't gonna. Uh, but the four card combo. I had a trap for that. Of, uh, remove brainwashing, um, owner seal, volcanic queen, and lava golem, um, were. The monsters that uh, their design inspired the kaijus to be released much later. Um, although they don't like, you can you can use like multiple lava golems or multiple volcanic queens in the same turn. Um, volcanic queen is excellent because. Uh, as you saw, Fiendish Chain, if the monster is not destroyed, uh, Volcanic Queen can then send a inert Fiendish Chain to the graveyard to just burn your opponent for a thousand damage. Um, which didn't come up. Instead, she was just burning me the entire Eek. time. But, um, and then, of course, uh, Flambell, Fire Dog, and Magician, um, uh, you saw what they do. Um, uh, Boost Warrior, I never actually used. However, oh, yeah. uh, there is a combo with uh, this deck where if Flamvel Fire Dog attacks a monster, summons Magician, in main phase two, you can special summon Boost Warrior and then Synchro Summon Trish. Um, which is this very nasty boss monster. Um, because Trish is in our format. Um, in fact, I was very worried, worried in game one that you were going to summon Trishula, and it would have just wrecked me. Because um, it would have banished a card from my field, and... I just didn't know about it. Yeah. Um... So out of probably should have put it in though, like, yeah. and that and uh, that level eight. Oh, uh, Stardust. Yep. Yeah, Stardust is really good. It saw a lot of competitive. I'm show... Now, obviously. Can you see my extra deck? Um, no, but what I'm going to do here is... Um, um, I also had uh, Cataster, which you know about. Um, I believe I have summoned uh -huh. uh, Black Rose in one of our duels before. Um, go ahead and send this uh, torrential to the graveyard. Um, I did have a Bryonic as well. Um, I had one copy of each of Bryonic and Cataster. Um... I had a single copy of Colossal Fighter. Um, uh,
Let's see. I had a single copy of Red Dragon Archfiend. I actually had three Stardust because I had uh, Triple Starlight Road in my main deck. But I sided those out because they weren't doing anything. Um, I had a yeah. single copy of Scrap Dragon. And Scrap Dragon has a similar um, idea as Volcanic Queen. Um, where... While it doesn't like send a card, it doesn't like send a card from your field to the graveyard to burn. Um, you can use it to to like blow up a dead fiendish chain and like one of your opponent's monsters. Um, or after like a massive rekindling play, um, sometimes you'll have cards left over that are going to be banished otherwise. So you just use that um, to fuel Scrap Dragon's uh, destruction effect. Uh, Colossal Fighter, funny enough, is like the answer to Cataster. Uh, well, that and Red Dragon Archfiend. They both uh, deal with it quite nicely. Um, and then a card I never ended mm. up summoning um, is Mistworm. Uh Everything left in my extra mm. is just duplicates of those. Um, let's see. Yeah, Lightning Warrior has a nice burn effect. Uh, oh, it's interesting. You mm. had a Flamvel <laughs> monster as well. Um, yeah. Yeah, this, this guy, he... Yeah, pierces and grows stronger every time he does it. Um, so out of um, out of the cards I was playing, um, are there any changes you'd like to make to the ban list? No, I just need to know my combos better. I'm kind of new to this 2011 format so mm -hmm. it's kind of like it was when i had just threw together a hero's deck okay well um yeah this this was my first time playing like a dedicated fire deck and um i believe volcanics had been out for a while um and you know i was like well and Volcanics actually have some good stuff. They've got Scattershot. They've got Shell. Um, but for this deck, I just... Volcanic Queen was the only one I wanted. Um, and it, you know, like say, this deck just combines two different ideas. The, um, the Fire Dog right. and Magician combo was seen quite a bit, I believe, in... I can't remember if it was Edison or Tengu plant in um, there was a fire variant of heroes um, that used them kind of like how, you know, it was kind of um, kind of like a more battle oriented version of diva heroes. Um, All right. And okay. Well, um, you know, I I am actually going to uh, go ahead and uh, ban one of the cards that was in this deck that I was playing. Um, I am going to ban remove brainwashing yeah. out of my own list because this this is toxic. <laughs> um. What I was that doing did seem pretty strong. Yeah, like right. So, um, owner seal is still in the format, so like the strategy is still possible. Um, but for banning like literally half the deck slots that can regain control of those monsters, um, and without compulse in the format, thankfully, 
um, this should massively disrupt the strategy's consistency. Like, <laughs> um, so mm, I I will go ahead good. and and I'm I this is not the first time I've done this. Uh, I have banned my own cards before. Um, I'm certainly not above it, especially when I put together something that just ends up overwhelming, like in an unfair way, what the other deck is doing. So, right. Um, and and it's and remove like uh remove brainwashing, um, volcanic queen, lava golem, and owner seal. None of them ever got hit on the ban list. Um, so I, I feel like this and, and granted they're all unsearchable, but you know, this format is slow enough that it might not matter. Um, Hey, I have a question. Have you ever heard of a card called Speed World? Uh, yeah, it's an anime exclusive, I believe. Um, people have made custom oh, okay. versions, but um, I it was like interesting that uh konami never wanted to implement speed world and speed spells into the tcg or the ocg um hmm because i'd because i'd heard i found out about the, that card while looking it up but it up on dueling book and just couldn't find it yeah, it was. It w never had. Seems a... Seems like it's a pretty OP card, though. Yeah, um, it's kind of like. Yeah, I mean the, <laughs> the fact that like the only spells you can use are speed spells, is like, wow. Okay. Um. And I think I think they yeah. did they did that nope. because like. Konami knew how much the Duel Monsters era and GX were just dominated by the powerhouse spells that were released in the Duel Monsters era. And they wanted some they wanted something in 5Ds that would prevent that. Uh so they came up with like speed counters, which like so to activate spells, you had to, like, you had to pick and choose carefully about how to invest your speed counters, um, mm -hmm. like, damage you took affected your speed counters, all of that. It was very interesting. And, you know, it, it definitely added to, um, it definitely added to, like, uh, how dramatic it was for the characters in 5Ds to be taking life point damage because in regular Yu-Gi-Oh I've I've heard a lot of people make the case that the only life point that matters is the last one and in so many cases that's true it's like I can see that it's and and granted the only time I've seen players like care as an exception to that is if they're running a card that requires them to pay X amount of life points and they're hit below that range. So like granted solemn warning is banned, but if we were running solemn warning, if we were below 2000 life points, that would matter because that would be a potentially dead draw. But yeah. Um, other than that, like, Typically, typically there's not much of a reason to care about life points as much as board control. And. Yeah. Uh,
But yeah, I, I've. Um, oh, inter Okay, you had. You had a uh, fabled monster. Uh, that combos well with Raigeki Break. Um, I'm not. I'm not seeing. Yeah. Uh huh. I'm not seeing a lot of spells. Um, typically, typically when it's a you... very simple deck. I call it the beatdown, the synchro beatdown deck. Ah, yeah. Typically, in a synchro beatdown deck, like you're still gonna want. Um, I would say up to eleven spells potentially. Um, because mystical space, I see. not just nine. Um, I mean, nine is fine, a uh, fine count. Um, it's like when, when it comes, I would say anywhere between five to 11 spells. Um, I tend to run, I tend to run like, oh, it's bad. yeah, I tend to try and run, um, a moderate to high amount of spell cards in my deck. Like normally a lot of my lists of decks and, and granted I'm kind of like, except like I I'm kind of overly skeptical anymore of like trap cards. So like I tend to try to not exceed like eight in my deck. And most of them run fewer than that. Um, but uh, obviously, and, and monsters typically make up the bulk of any deck that I build, unless it's there's like I don't know. Right. I I ran a pretty I ran I had a phase in one of the GX formats where I was running low monster count decks. Uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and end the recording here. Um. Okay. Let's see.